We're back here again, and yes, it's the final night in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We did that, guys. Now let's gangbang those animatronics. That sounded extremely wrong and inappropriate to say. Is it just me, or are you always so excited to be back here? What's the secret behind it? Uh, I mean, aren't we all excited to smash the final night? Well, this doesn't look like a trashy office with bad systems waiting to break down every second of the day. I don't have to listen to some lame-ass phone dude who knows nothing. I also don't have to toggle between cameras on a system. But you have to run from door to door, closet to door, door to hallway, flashlight on the bed. Ah, uh, fuck. You suck at this game. You really do suck, Obama. I would pick standing in that old office with the broken systems over these unplanned sprints any day of my life, let alone you have to watch an animatronic chop off a kid's head. I don't know, man, but you're taking this too seriously. Are you sure you're not going for therapy? I don't mind booking sessions for you. I mean, what are pals for? Taking this way too seriously? Can't you all see how triggering it is? It's obviously not real. What are you on about, Obama? I think Trump is right about the therapy. You need help at this point. Why is the demented old man not saying anything? First off, do not ever call me demented old man ever again. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and, and secondly, I'm too focused here for all that drama. Wait, I just noticed that you've lost so quickly, Joe. Um, your stupid, annoying voices occupied the entire place and I could barely hear anything. How was I supposed to hear any sound from the um, animatronics with all that noise all over the place? Was it truly our voices or are you in your loser mode? It's okay to lose sometimes, Joey. You don't have to blame our innocent voices. They're barely doing anything here. Yay, Joe, the master of FNAF lore lost quicker than I did. Okay, Joe, if you lose this, then no more turns for you. And don't blame us for your loss. I see no reason why I have to take you seriously. Just get out of my way. I have better things to focus on. What the heck? Ha 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 ha. Who will blame this time, Mr. Focus? Now get out and let me play. Uh, you do know you were distracting me, right? That's the problem with you. You always love fishing out blames. Well, if you think I distracted you, that's your business, and it only means you're stupid. Now tell us what's up with night seven. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. You do have some nerve. There's no way I'm telling you anything. I'm a politician and a businessman. I don't know what you expect from someone like me. Be a coward? Come on, Joey. You know me better than that. You idiot. I'm talking about your shamelessness. Well, well sleepy, old and silly crackhead businessmen need to be shameless to sell their products. That's something I possess and wholeheartedly own. Deal with it. Okay. Okay, let me take a guess. Night seven combines night five and night six, right? You can answer me and ignore Trump Joey. The fact the Freckles are back doesn't mean that's the case. Why don't you take a chill pill and let Joe explain it? I thought the Freckles are dead. You are one bloated Freckle. What the heck made you think that? I don't think there's any harm in taking a guess, you moron. This night is harder than others because every animatronic is incredibly active and they will come at you with increased aggressions. Of course they want to come at me. It's the last night. They will miss the almighty Trump if they don't come at me this night. What is going on with you? For you to be this, this excited. Let me focus, Bushy. I'm trying to fend off these animatronics. Uh, I'll appreciate it if you don't interrupt me. Okay, as I said, the animatronics are very aggressive tonight. We'll be strategies from night four and six till it gets to 4 a.m. when everything changes, when it gets to 4 a.m. All the other animatronics become the nightmare animatronic. Oh, we're moving as we did on night six. Survive all other animatronics till 4 a.m. when the most evil guy takes over the place. Cool, cool. So you're saying when they fail to come at me till 4 a.m., they turn into vampires and try to rip me apart? Sounds like it pretty much. All they will find in me is some mashed up Big Mac poop I left in the bedroom. Bro, what's up with you today, Trumpy? Remember night four tactics? Keeping Nightmare Foxy out for as long as possible is crucial. If he enters the closet too early before 2 a.m., it becomes harder to manage all other animatronics. Always listen to hear his footsteps. Shining the flashlight would keep him out much longer. Check the frettles on the bed once you hear their screaming. And finally, guys, do not forget the Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica at their respective doors. The pattern is to check the doors for the animatronics, then the bed and the closet to see if Nightmare Foxy has entered. Finished, Joe? Pretty much. I think it's my turn to cry about how much information that is. Let me help you. You don't have to re remember every single thing he said. Just remember the pattern. Check the doors, the bed, and then the closet to see if Nightmare Foxy has entered. Yeah, I know Obama, but why am I sweating in my palms? Maybe because you're screwed and scared Trumpy. What happened to the big and mighty trumpet who thinks he can take on anyone, huh? Shush, Joe, you are always the victim of escalating the situations. I've helped you all through till night seven. A little thank you, Joe, would not hurt, and I would much more appreciate it. That would make me more prone to messing up the night. You know this is the scariest night. Why, you can't handle a little challenge? Brace up, you have three more hours to go till 6 a.m., so I'd advise you to control your sweating. Did you ever listen in class? It's an involuntary action. I don't go about commanding my sweat glands to take action. Don't be stupid, Bush. 
Well, whatever. My message remains the same. You have more hours to go. Don't make the setup covered in your oily sweat in case we need to take over. You must be having a lot of fun anyway, Joe. You're taking over once it gets to 4 a.m. I don't think I can continue. For once, I think you're the only one I can trust to do this. He lost two times already, though. I just thought I should remind you. Obama, even you are betraying me now? Hey, bro, I'm just spitting some facts. Fine, that's true, and I actually agree. You know what, Obama? I'm gonna be on my best behavior today. Why are you giving up already, Trumpy? I didn't expect this from you. I believe so much in your potential. Is this funny to you? Make silly jokes all you want for now and very quickly because I can't guarantee my hands will stay peaceful any moment from now. I will send your teeth rolling to the ground in their numbers. Inciting violence whilst under extreme pressure, I'm shocked and scared to my pants. Stay away from drugs and narcissistic people, guys. Yeah, true, Bushy. Okay, it's four. 4 a.m. now. Come take over, Joe. What would you guys have been able to do without me? On damn Trump, you oily lard. The controller is slippery and oily as fuck. I'm more surprised your old wrinkly fingers are still sensitive. I'm still young Trump. Anyways, I'm the reason we got to night seven in the first place, and I think I deserve my accolades for that. I'm not appreciated enough. It's the final lap. We should all make peace and begin with this. Every single one of you apologize and thank. I knew the moment you let him take over, he would become a menace. He's not wrong, though. I mean, his amazing tactics helped us come this far. It won't hurt if you admit the truth, Obama. Always that one folk claiming to be Mr. Perfect. Just shut up, Bush. Everyone has their strengths. Maybe Five Nights at Freddy's is his strength, but have you seen me play GTA? I don't even make noise about it. You don't make noise about it because you're not that good. You can deceive the whole world, Trump, but I'm going to be last to fall for all that. Now, I regret letting you play my game. I should have completed it myself and have the glory all to myself. Humans are disgusting pieces of shit. Do I have to remind you that you're a human too, Trump? And we are all humans and the viewers and your voters. We are all humans, dude. Except me, of course. I'm not like any of you. I am a superhuman. Uh, of course, you look nothing like us with that body looking like you swallowed the world's problems. I don't think anyone would want that. Come on, guys. No body shaming is allowed. Oh, my God. I would fall into a big state of depression if someone told me that. Stop trying to make me look like the bad guy here. He has said worse things to all of us. No one should feel bad for him in any way. It's funny how you're trying to recruit members into your haters club. You're such a clown, Joe. And that thing you just said, I'll pass. Come to me when you have something strong enough to break me down. Ha 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 ha. Trump, just take a look at yourself and all the things you've done to the American people. Lives were better 30 years ago and you came along and ruined everything. And you did nothing to fix it, Mr. President. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Congrats, everybody, we did this. Now let's so get some drinks. All glory to the almighty Donald Trump. I literally carried your fat pussy ass to 6 a.m. Correct, but I played until 4 a.m. And if you know grade one maths, Joe, you would know I did 66% of the work and you did the rest. That's ridiculous trumpety dumpety. Obviously, 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. were much more difficult. All righty, all righty, boys, let's celebrate the win. I'll shout us drinks at the bar and I'll bring us some barbecue. Oh my God, I haven't eaten in a week. Let's go party. Let's Let's go! go!